All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here We are here with another part of this Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. So we're here back in McFarlane Farms. Uh, we're going to start with Bonnie. We're pretty close to the... I think we're getting close to the... Uh, trying to take down Bill Williamson. I don't know how many more we have, but we'll see. Come and there's a storm all of a sudden. Get him in there! Come on! Come on! Hey, miss! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of agreeing with Amos here. This is kind of uh, not a good idea. I can probably buy you some horses. I can buy you guys some horses or some cattle. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. This is the not gonna be good. real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're oh, not going to be is... able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Come on, boy. So where are we taking them to? That's what I got to know. Where are we taking the herd to? Let's take them over to the other herd. We'll try to drive them all back to the ranch together. Back! the big herd now. That wasn't too bad. Oh, no. Oh, great. We have to stop the stampede. Do something. Jump off the cliff, please. And you just walked off the cliff. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Dude, I'm going here. I'm the only one doing anything. I think that's all of them. Let's get him back to the ranch No joke. Okay. I lost one. I don't want to lose any more. Heading straight for it. Just keep going. Keep going. Don't stray off. Dude, turn around, cow. Are you joking right now? Wait, wait, what? I was about to say, why did I lose two more? That's just the two that haven't joined back up yet. Keep it moving. Don't split up now on me. There we go. <laughs> that was a good good bit of fun right there. Jesus. That was difficult. I lost one. Dang it. I was doing so good too. Lost one. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Twenty cows heard it. Nice. There's another Bonnie mission. Oops, sorry, cow. Let's go see Bonnie again. There we go. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. I'll help you Come find on, them. Let's go look for them. Darn right. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Gee up! I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. No, oh, I, I got my guns You're with fine. me just in case. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't Seems you like have a tough brothers guy. or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I can trust. See, that's the crazy oh, part about this time in life. Someone. Is uh, so many people died young. It's insane. Come on, boy. I didn't even see what you're Hold talking there. about. Daddy, what happened? 
nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Martian, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. I got a nice pistol and a shotgun to use, so. Idiot! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead too. Like you said, we rustlers. Get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the way. Let's get the repeater carbine out, just in case we get into a gunfight here. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. Okay, you get an attitude for no reason. The noble criminal? There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset, Miss Mc... Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Yeah! Oh no. Somebody get their horses out! The doors are blocked! We out. need to find another way in! It's getting worse! Get a move on! We have to find another way to get in there! Like what? This ain't working! Los caballos! We gotta get to the horse! Climb up the awnings near the windmill. Where's oh up over here? Don't jump off the edge, please. Oh, we gotta shimmy across. Where's the next ladder? Where's the next ladder? That's not what I wanted. Ooh, somebody definitely sabotaged this. He did it! Now get the horses out! Let's get the back one first. Oh no, get on that horse. No, get the freak down. Let's go! Jeez, uh, somebody definitely, uh, that was not an accident, fire. Not an accidental fire, that's definitely somebody trying to ruin their livelihood. At least we saved all the animals. Sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John. Thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to do. Maybe put the rest of the fire hey, out. Hold, That'd be hold good on a too. Over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. <laughs> Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah. Well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, it's a good family here, well, at least. You get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Good group of people here, at least, McFarlands.
There's some good fame right there. Has the barn been put out already? Yeah. It's not that great, though. So I think we're going to go ahead and head back to the apartment there, or the, the room we have, and rest real quick. Okay, just had to really climb up that. Um, get some rest right quick, and then we'll head over to Armadilla. Open the container while we're at it. Get some more ammo. Can I change outfits or... I don't have this one yet. I did, hold up, um, one of these before I started the video here. Walton's gang, complete a horse breaking job. That's not the one. Uh, there it is. Bollard twins, win a horseshoes, win at horseshoes in McFarland's Ranch. The one right behind us there. I went ahead and did that. It took like three tries to realize you had to aim <laughs> your horseshoe. It's not just blind aiming. You can actually hold left trigger and see where it goes. But no, I, I decided to just, <laughs> I just decided to go with uh, blind shots for the first two games until I realized you could do that. So, let's head over to Armadilla. Let's actually get a map. Uh, actually, I think we want to go, do we want to go Seth first? Let's go to Seth. Yeah. No, hold up. What was that? What is that icon? There's some icon there that's... Oh, hold up. Is that a stagecoach? Oh, that's the train station. Or no, that's a... Oh my god, I am so sorry. I am s <laughs> I just want to see what that was. Oh lord, I just almost killed a man with a horse. Let's just get back to Armadillo. It's a long trip, but... I still need to... What do I have? Oh yeah, okay, what I currently have for journals, because I also completed one of the um, sharpshooter. I'm on rank 3 now. Kill 5 coyotes before any coyote damages you. I still have skin five. So any coyotes I see from now on, I'm shooting. I just gotta get five kills of them without getting hit myself. I think they mostly spawn down in that bottom area where uh, Armadillo is. They don't really spawn up here, it looks like. So head back down there on the way over. Any coyotes getting shot. Any coyotes getting skinned. There is a bunch of strange... Ooh, what the yeah. heck is this dude? Dude, this is creepy. Wait, he just said my name. Wait, what the freak is this? Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl, until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Okay, this dude's creeping me out. How does he, uh... Visit the strange man's friend in Thieves Landing. 
Where is Steve's Landing even at? I don't even know where that's at. Oh, it's... Yeah, we're not gonna do that right now. Not right now, at least. I think we can do it at any time, so I'll, I'll visit it later. Let's go back to Seth. I want to go some coyote hunting and get down to Seth Coot. No, that's not his last name. It's Coot's Chapel, not Seth Coot. Come on. Let's go. Uh oh yeah. You boys are embarrassing yourself. What the heck was going on? Saved us doing our job, and we thank you for it. Can't let the criminals win now, can we? Oh nice. I'm gonna go ahead and lose his body while we're here. If it ain't me, it's someone else. So we're stopping a criminal. I was trying to shoot him in the legs, but I guess I guess you shoot him anywhere, it's it's done for. You gotta lasso him to catch catch him. I gotta look for some coyotes really badly. I wanna get this sharp sharpshooter challenge done. There's Cooch Chapel. Freak is this? That's uh, a random nun. I'm not gonna mess with that. It's creepy. I can hit you up. Oh my lord, that horse is malnourished. I better not be Coot's horse. Whoever this Coot person is, because I'm gonna mess him up if that's his horse. And you're digging up a grave, aren't you? Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name's Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We... Need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look. Scrambling around. Look for maps. Half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out. My mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people. They feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Giving real Gollum vibes. 
It's all mine. Horses are over here. Dude, you better not be taking that malnourished horse. Put that... Freaking feed that thing. Oh, my lord. I got, a, like, an apple I could give him, right? I don't even know where Benedict Point is. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rot. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. My you? Damn You're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes... Real quick, I just want to check. Was that even a... That was not a, that was a fox, not a coyote. Dang it. To even you. Not exactly a dump. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my it's mind? It's hard to tell what's Maybe a wolf, a fox, or a coyote. Dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. I hear some coyotes back. Something howling. I don't know what it is, but I want to go hunting, but I got to finish this mission first. I probably do a lot of my hunting off camera. Looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd okay, you say? that. I, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I just heard that was you definitely a Gollum Smeagol vibes. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even hear it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So I think that's you two coyotes. Go after Bill Williams, do you? You know Bill? Oh yeah. Just real quick. That was two coyotes, wasn't it? Nice. I met Williams. Need to kill two, uh, three All more. Boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. I'm down. I wonder if these sharpshooter ranks give you anything. Same with the master hunter. Do they even give you anything, or is it just like completely pointless? Pointless. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat. <laughs> Sleep. I don't wash and I don't care. I know. Jeez. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. Are we? Is this a bunch of criminals? We're gonna shoot them all, or what? Like, what's going on? As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. And what am I doing? I ain't trying to help criminals. 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 Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. And how am I supposed to do that? Steal a deputy's horse. Let me take a god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of me. Are you looking for trouble? Oh, and I'm immediately getting shot. Wow. And I think I lost it. There we go. I don't want this horse, though. Let 
me get my horse. Pretty easy. Losing wanted level's not that hard. It's way easier than GTA. <laughs> You're not swarmed by like 75,000 cops. Are they not gonna. Why? You haven't done it already? Now keep an eye out in case they come back. You didn't freaking go get it already? We were gone that Moses? whole time. Oh, Moses! You got a visitor! Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! You ain't the damn law! Just leave me alone! Just run after him real quick. I got a limited sprint, I think, so... Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! How do I hog tie him? There we go. I've never done this before. Let me go! I'm begging you! Whatever he told you, it's a lie. <laughs> you son of a bitch, let me go! There! That's the Who first do you time. Think you are, mister? First time I've done this, jeez. Let's go! Okay, he would get bounced off immediately. You must be stupid. Why am I doing all of the hard work? Bastard. Seth ain't doing a freaking thing. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna... Cut you up, piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's gone crazy in the sun. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. <laughs> uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Oddfellow's rest. This is another part of the outfit, isn't it? Went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. And how do we do that? I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Ugh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Best we deal with this now, mister. Oh, telegraph office is right here. Hello. Well, hello. Give a pardon letter. There we go. I already did it, Seth. I don't want to wait for you forever. So... Mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. What do we got next? Fly, fly. Why didn't you jump up? So what do we have? Okay, we have Nigel West Dickens and... Who the f 
You're a dog. Come on, come on. You're getting away from me, man. Is that a, that's just a random dog trying to attack me. I need to look for some coyotes still. Let me follow the train tracks a while. Get over to Nigel. If I hear any coyotes, I'm going for them. Where is Nigel even at? I need to look at that first. Oh, he's at, uh, what is it? Ridgewood Farm. Horse breaking job? I want to go there anyways, yeah. Heck yeah. Do the horse breaking. Oh, not really. Eh, you have a blue icon. I'll see what you are. I'm wide open here. Take it easy. Crazy old bro. Chest if you free me. Please untie me. I must have something you want. I'll cut you for you. I don't know what this is about, but sure, why not? What? No. How? You're lucky to be alive. Okay. And I got another outfit, too. Better not try to freaking steal my horse. A couple of you have done this already. Best. Honor Peacemaker. What is this? That's not a weapon, is it? Ooh, nice. I like it. Please give me some coyotes. Gotta go this way. Any coyotes, just one or three. Ooh, what's that sound? Is that a dog or a coyote? It sounds like a dog. Dang it, give me a freaking coyote. Let's go do the horse breaking job. Horse breaking job first. This steed looks right tenchy. I don't mind telling. Good luck, son. He's a wild one and no mistake. Stay calm. Whoa! I got you now. Calm it down. Almost got you. Keep my 100% success rate. Come on. You got this. Don't get impaled on the pitchfork. Ooh, almost fell off. I thought we were done. Calm down now. Calm yourself now. I thought we were done there for a second. It wasn't. Come on. There we go. Another eight bucks. Now I'll do Nigel West Dickens and try to head over to uh, Marshall Johnson. Damn fine riding. That was fast work, son. Oh, six bucks. No, I'm getting less and less money. And we got another Seth. Air gunshots. Those fellas had it coming to him. Yes, they did. Get some free money out of this, and I get some fame. That's the second time that's happened. 
Nigel West Dickens. And we got another Seth mission as well. Are you getting kicked out oh, yet? Because you're a Marston. horrible liar. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. Oh, a man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull, feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <coughs> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> But come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. So we're going to get into some horse racing. I'm okay with that. That was pretty fun the first time, and now I actually know how to maintain stamina, so... I'm going to skip right to destination. I don't want to hear dialogue about making money. Yeah, I'm going to make money, too. We got horse races going on. I'm okay with that. Oh, they're horse and wagon races. Here we are, John. I'm gonna Got start all the way at the back, ain't I? Are oh, you joker? Whoa. I'm about to. You're gonna make me start all the way at the back. Dang it! Drivers, y'all know the rules, but for you newcomers, this here's a fair race. Keep to your manners and let the fester cart pass. So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. All right now, counting to three. Ready, set, go! This thing's harder to steer, for sure. Oh, yep. Dude, this thing is atrocious. Dude, this thing is so bad.
mean, I'm, I'm pretty far in the head, but geez, this thing is garbage to steer. the end of this race. We're getting close. There we go. Okay, that was rough. I mean, we won. We pretty much took over after the Literally no before worries, the first mister. corner, but still. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Okay, can we go back to regular horse races? Because those are way right. better. Best to move ourselves to the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Yes. How much did I win? By the way, we're gonna skip the destination every time because, geez, he can talk forever. Is there another horse race? Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? So we're going to head over to Armadillo then. What, what's available on the map? I could go over to Thieves Landing. I guess I gotta wait for stuff to pop up first. There it is. So we got MSW. Irish, Marshall Johnson, Seth. I mean, Nigel West Dickens is the closest. Well, I hit Nigel first. See what's there, and we'll move on. There's quite a few missions to do before we can even, like, I guess, storm the fort, Fort Marcer. Where is the sheriff? There he is. I'll do this. Why not? You feather brain son of a bitch! Did y'all lost your damn mind? What the? Mister, these fellers robbed a bank in Armadillo. I've been tracking them ever since. I'm a bit outnumbered. Would you mind lending your gun? Sure, why not? Walton gang. Apologies, officer. I'm doing a fine job. Follow me this way! You want to die, mister! Let me loot their bodies Thanks first. For your help, mister. Now I trust you'll return this safe to the banker in Armadilla. Yeah, I'm gonna go there anyways. Just gotta loot their bodies first. 
Get all the money I can out of this. There's gonna be a chest in that... In that place, I bet. Is there no chest in here? Ah, okay, let's get on the wagon. We gotta go to Armadillo anyways. Might as well go first. Oh, they can do a sharp turn. Oh my god. I'm gonna get shot at on the way there, I can already tell. Yeah, let's not go on the railroad tracks. If it's giving me tips about shooting while driving, <laughs> I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna end up getting in a gunfight if that's the case. There's no brakes. Apply the brakes. There is no brakes. So I got sharpshooter rank there. That's good. And I got the <laughs> those guys killed. What's the next sharpshooter rank? Kill five flying birds from a moving train. Oh, that would have been so good. The train just passed. I'll do that one off camera, just catch up up to the train, wait for it to reach Armadillo. I better get some good money out of this. do a good job on staying on the road by themselves. Hey, he hit me that time. That was not my fault. Pretty good. I'm really liking this cowboy repeater, the Winchester repeater. Repeater carbine, sorry. I forget, I already did that, right? I already did that. I'm just killing animals for no reason. I guess I still gotta do the Master Hunter one, but I'm gonna do that later because. I don't want to get off the wagon until I get to Armadillo. Like you said, apply the brakes. Like that would have worked. There we go, exit the wagon. You got our safe bag! I never thought I'd see that again. I cannot thank Hello. you enough, sir. Better give me some money for that. Solomon's Folly completes. What is that? That no, that's part of Oh, the Walton gang. That's the Walton uh outfit. Isn't that right? One of these outfits. Walton's gang. Search Solomon's Folly. Oh, was that the place I was at and I didn't search it? I think so. Because all that I have left for this outfit is uh, 
play a game of poker and win, which will probably be the hardest thing in this game. Let's look at the gun store real quick. We're going to go to Irish next, but I want to see you, what do you have available. You, surely won't regret a purchase. you have no guns available. What's baits? That's actually useful. I might... Yeah, we're going to buy 10 of those. That's what I need. I hope you keep protecting. Let's go over to Irish. Actually, we're at the 55 minute mark. I might actually have to call it for this part. Uh, getting a late night filming at this point. Um, so, late night of work and late night of filming. So, hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. I will see you guys next time. Take care.